Okay, going to uh, do a quick tutorial on how to rewire a lamp. Uh, this is an old lamp that I got in a cheap box lot at an auction. Uh, three bulbs, one uh, thumb screw switch to turn on or off. Um, you'll be needing uh, some wire. Paradise to cut the wire. Razor blade to splice the wire. New plug. And the lamp. Uh, start by unscrewing the bulbs. Get them out of the way. Then these collars simply slide off. That was easy. Uh, what you'll also want to do is you'll want to look under the base to see how it's wired. You'll see one wire from, from the cord goes to the switch. One wire from the cord goes into one lamp. And then out of that lamp, two wires come out and go to this lamp. And then two wires come out of this one and go back in uh, to the cord. Uh, so it's fairly easy to wire. You also need a screwdriver for undoing the terminals on the lamps and for undoing the plug. Come on. That was getting difficult. I see how they did this. What do you Okay. I've taken all the wires off. Uh, I've taken all of the uh, the light switches off simply so that I could clean them and clean the base real good. Um, they come off and go back on fairly easy. All you do is you uh, take that and screw it on. Nice and easy. Um, let me get these others cleaned up real quick. I'm just taking a, a damp rag and wiping them down. Again, that slips on and then this screws on. And the last one. Again, all pretty simple, nice and easy. Uh, now what we need to do is to cut the wire. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut 
three strands of two uh, cord wire. Uh, this is 18 gauge uh, black cloth twisted wire. Uh, you can find it online uh, pretty much anywhere. Just, just search uh, cloth covered wire. Uh, again, it's 18 gauge. Uh, they, you can get them in cotton or rayon. This is rayon. Doesn't really matter any. Rayon shines a little more. Um, but again, it doesn't matter what you use. Uh, I'm going to cut three strands of this uh, to go from here down to the base. So you're looking at uh, dun, dun, dun. let's call it uh, seven inches. So I'll cut three seven inch strands. I can always trim the bottom uh, but I'm going to cut three seven inch strands and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've gotten all my wires. I uh, stripped them. Uh, I also put uh, heat shrink tubing around the, uh, the cloth case. That way it won't fray or slip off. Um, like I said, that's just heat shrink tubing. You can use electrical tape either way, but that way it'll keep it from fraying and, and peeling back. Uh, all of the wires are uh, stripped on both ends. Uh, and now we're going to connect them. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the white and we'll use that for the positive. That goes to the center of the light socket. And you'll know by looking in, you'll see a little tab that goes from the center out to the side. Just follow that out to that terminal and connect the white. Slip it down through the hole. Put it around the terminal, like so. Okay, we've got the positive wire through, now we need to do a negative wire. Uh, take one of the black wires, fish it down through the hole. And then just connect it to the negative terminal. Come on. Just loop it around. Not as easy as it looks. There we go. That's down through. And we look. The tab for the positive goes there. So we stick that down through the hole. Around the terminal. Tighten it down. Take a black wire, now let's try and fish it up to the bottom, see if that works. Oh, that works easier. Okay. Take it. Loop it around the terminal. Yep. 
and tighten it up. And for the last one, one more positive and positive goes right here. Loop it around. Tighten it up. Fish that one in from the bottom. Come on. Pull it up. Loop it around. Come on. Loop it around. And tighten it up. There we go. Now you can see six wires all coming down to the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, Take all these wires, we're going to tie together all of the grounds, which are the blacks, and all of the powers, and we're going to hook them up to the, uh, to the power cable. I'm going to make me a power cable, or a cord, whatever you want to call it, uh, that'll come from the plug. I'm going to make one of those up, and I'll be right back. Okay. First what I've done is taken all my my positive wires from the sockets, tied all of them together, and I've tied all of them together with the one cord from the switch. So there's four wires tied together, three wires, one from each lamp, and one from the uh, switch. And I'm going to solder them together, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie all of the, the ground wires from the sockets together. And then one of the ground wires will go to the ground wire on the, on the power cord. Uh, and then the positive from the power cord will go to the other wire from the switch. So let's get some of these soldered up and we'll, we'll go step by step. First, the four wires from the, uh, the positive and the switch. There we go. There we go. Get it nice and saturated with solder. That way nothing's coming apart. All of that's done. Um, let's tie all the black wires together. Actually, uh, I'm gonna electrical tape that first, get that out of the way, and I'll be right back. Okay, 
I accidentally didn't press record, so here we go. Here's what I did. I took the three ground wires uh, from the lamps and the ground wire from the power cord right here and I soldered those four wires together. Um, I'm going to uh, electrical tape them together real quick and come right back and finish up the wiring underneath the lamp here. Okay, final step. Take the uh, positive coming from the, the power cord and connect it to the other side of the switch and we're gonna solder that real quick and that'll be the last step underneath the base. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, that's all done. Um going to electrical tape that up and then we'll come back and do the plug and finish things up. Okay, final step of the wiring part. You uh, take a plug. Uh, this is a vintage type plug. I don't think it is old. Uh, terminals look a little new. Um, to be accurate for a lamp this old, uh, you would probably have used an acorn. Uh, but acorns are hard to get on and off uh, a wall socket. So I like to use the ones that have something to pull on. Uh, again, it's not quite accurate for as old as this lamp is, but it, it's a lot more user friendly. Uh, you take both ends of the, the wire, stick them through the hole, and then you bring uh, one to one side, wrap it around, terminal. These can be a little difficult at times because there's not a lot of room. Make sure it's nice and tight. Tighten the screw down. Looks good. Take the other one. Wrap it around the terminal. Like so. Screw it down. Okay. Give it a little tug to make sure everything's secure. Uh, if you want, you can use one of these little uh, things. That'll cover up everything on the bottom of the uh, plug. Just slide it down. If you can. This one doesn't seem to want to do that. There we go. Gives you a nice covering. Plug's all done. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's uh, plug this thing in and see if it works. There, it's plugged in. Did that just click off? No.
Okay. Give it a twist, and it works. Look at that, first try. Uh, all I gotta do is take the sockets back off, put the uh, little candle coverings on, put the shade on, and it's all done. Uh, but that's a quick, easy uh, wiring of the lamp.